everyone, thanks for tuning in today. So as you can see in the initial few clips, I did like a quick second to third gear pull in my car. And it was pretty much a little second to third gear pull. It was nothing hard, nothing fancy, nothing like that. Just like, eh, eh. And that's it. So I did the pull and at the top of the pull, all of a sudden I look up in my rear view mirror and then I see like smoke billowing out the back. So I'm like, okay, this ain't good. Also, I see some smoke come out the front. But as I can see, it's not like a fire smoke or anything like that. It's just like oil or something leaking, just like something ruptured. So I was like, okay, cool. Luckily, no one was like around and it's like embarrassing to see your car smoking. you going down the street. So I was close to my home. So I went and pulled in, shut the car off because I'm like, oh man, I'm losing oil. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to like starve the motor of oil or anything like that. So I pulled the car in and then the first thing I noticed was a big pool of like oil in front of the motor. So I'm like, okay, cool. Front of the motor, oil. Where do that usually originate from? So I went ahead on my particular car. It's a 07 build. So I have no oil cooler um, lines. So there's nothing running across the top. So I cleaned up a lot of this mess. It was like a crime scene. There was like oil everywhere. So. Even you can still see it's kind of shiny right here. I didn't really clean up here yet because I'm gonna take off the valve cover and the intake manifold and all that good stuff. Uh, come down here, there was actually a huge puddle of this stuff in here. And yeah, I've been, last couple of days just been cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Even the fan. I just had it sitting here and that's what's leaked off the fan. So yeah, this is pretty much, I think it's the crank seal that's leaking because there's nowhere on the front of my motor where oil could come off of because I don't have an oil cooler so there's no oil coming over nowhere in the front so the only spot down here that's oil is down there. E10s there's six of them down here and use this right here to do it a little stubby extension with the E10 socket and make sure to turn was it left I now use a E60 put it on here put a long behind extension and turn it this way and I'll just take the belts off. That looks good, there's no ding scratches or anything like that. I looked on both sides and it looked like there was no contact with the front cam seal or anything like that. So I'm not entirely sure. The good thing is at least everything is intact and nothing messed up. So it's a good thing I put the GoPro down here to verify if the front main seal was leaking or not. And in this case, it's not, it's actually right here in which there's a slight gash on here. It's not a cut. It feels like it was resting on it or something. I don't know how this happened, but the main thing is, the only thing that's here is the fan. And I guess it was leaning against the fan or maybe the fan blade hit it or something like that. Replace this line or I'm gonna go ahead and manual swap it. I had intention of manual swapping it, but this most likely would speed up the process. So I checked my old parts bin and I found another automatic transmission oil cooler or transmission cooler line. And yeah, like I could use this, but then I went ahead and I was checking over it. I found the same exact type of mark on the top hose that goes near the what's it called the radiator so it seems like this thing is just chafing as heck on most of these cars so it'll be surprising to check other cars and see if they're experiencing the same thing i'm just at lost of like seeing it on two different cars so i was planning on doing the manual swap anyway but this kind of like pushes my timeline up because I wanted to do the manual swap at the same time I put my built motor back into this car. So, yeah, I didn't want to do all that work and then piecemeal everything. I just ready to do everything at one time. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick fix to this. Like, get another line or reroute it in some other uh, manner. But, I don't know. I'm going to see what's the pros and cons. At the end of the day, I'm just going to go ahead and do a manual swap though. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And... Thanks for watching.